Plastic Model Builders. Hello, it's me, Ari Stone, with Plastic Model Builder, and this is part three of my uh, Ravel USS Arizona 1426 scale. We are going to be painting the rest of the superstructure, the miscellaneous parts. We're going to assemble the superstructure and all that good stuff, and the turrets. So watch this video, the whole thing. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like to my channel. That way you can catch all the model making madness that we have when we're doing this. So what you've seen so far while I've been rambling is you've seen me paint the superstructure. You've seen me do the turrets. Right here is another part of that superstructure, the masts. We have two of those. We're going to paint all this good stuff right here. Make these look pretty. Model making madness. Get the front, the back, the top, the bottom, the sides, all that good stuff. Uh, there's some bells on there that we're going to paint a little later on. We also have the little lights. We're going to paint those. They go a little silver color. So you'll see me do that later on in the video as well. So we're adding on the gun turrets right here. Just place these down in there. You don't have to glue them. Uh, they can rotate freely. Some are a little tight. Some are not as tight. So once you have those down, this is how the superstructure goes on. Uh, when you do this, you will need to find a way to hold it down in certain spots because this right here, this area, didn't want to stay glued. Uh, those That front area there did not want to stay glued. So, you know, just figure out a way to do it. I use tape in some spots. You may want to use clamps, whatever you want to do. Uh, these turrets, they do rotate. You do have to put that front turret on first. I know I didn't show you, but you do have to do that because that's the only way to get it on. And then you have these turrets right here. By the way, there are four turrets. One of them is different, uh, so pay attention to that one, and that will be the one that has the little airplane that goes on top of it. Uh, it's going to have two prongs on top, and you see it right here. Uh, I did make a mistake of putting that on the wrong place at first, and then realized where it did go. But you see those two prongs for where you have to put the mount for the airplane? The little thingy that takes off. Yeah, I know. And then you see the others. Uh, be careful with the glue. That way you can rotate these turrets. They do rotate. So it's one of the good things about this model. Got more little guns that go in here. Those get glued down because they do not rotate. Uh, is what it is. So we have these right here. Once all these are down, we are going to do some more fun stuff. We're going to put these into the hall. So little tube glue. I decided to use tube glue because I know it's got some really good strength and this is a ship and the parts were kind of loose so I wanted to make sure everything bonded. All right so we're going to glue the deck to the hull. Got a lot of joining parts here. The fit you need to pay attention to it because it's not the greatest in the world. There's a little bit of gappage. Uh, if you squeeze it tight find whatever you can squeeze it with. String, tape, doesn't matter. It will hold eventually, but I'm using the tube glue because it's extra strong. Um, I wasn't worried about thin cement that they have, the extra thin. I just wanted this to be secure. Best way to do that is with tube glue because that stuff sticks really well. So this is what we're doing here, using that, the tape, it'll secure it. Might have a little gap left over, but it will not be that noticeable. So that right there was the lower deck. This is going to be the upper portion of that, the upper deck. You'll see it's also going to sit in there and we've got to lift up some of that tape. That way we can put the deck onto this hall of the USS Arizona. Just make sure you get your glue all the way around there. That's what I did. As I said, I did use tube glue and there was a reason for that. Some people may say you don't need to, but this model called for it due to its loose fit. And I wanted to, as I said, make sure everything fits. So you see all the glue going down there. Here is that hall. See this has to fit like that. So we're going to take this tape off. Make sure it fits. Place it down properly. Get our tape out of the way. And then do some more taping because just like the other side, the hall does not have the greatest of fits around it. Older model. That's okay. Have fun with it. Got to chip off that little part there. Sand it down. That way this sits perfectly. You're going to see there's uh, two little areas that this sits on, one right there and the other right there. Put this part of the superstructure right on top of that. There we go. 
Then we have the stack, which goes in between this. Uh, some of these pieces were not as easy to get on, some were. Pay attention to the orienting pegs. This was one a little bit that was harder to get on. You gotta position it just right, and then kind of pop things into place. Go slow, use tweezers if you have to, whatever you need to get it done. I eyeballed it, managed to get it in a couple tries. Got these things, kind of push them into place. You might have to give them a little bit of oomph. They will rotate. They're not really meant to come out once they're in, but they may, you know, it's modeling. It's never, nothing's perfect. All right, so we have these little boats. I'm going to add the boats to this while it's on the thing because it was easier for me. Then we will just paint them with the airbrush. More things to make look pretty for Model Making Madness, of course. Get that boat in there. That's a three stack of boats. And you've got this one right here. There's two of those. And you see the other ones off to the side right there as well. And we'll put those on in a different video. So you see how I glue those together. Just hold it. And then you can also use that to paint. And then just, you know, with the back of the screw, cut it off and touch it up somehow. However you want to do it. It's your model. Do it your way. I did it my way. Uh, if you want to do touch-ups, I wasn't too worried about touch-ups with this. I just wanted to have a pretty little model of the USS Arizona and just do a ship. Something different from what I usually do. So we got our anchors right there. Uh, painting the insides of these brown to replicate wood. Wasn't overly concerned with how good it looked. Just wanted it to look halfway decent and my goal was certainly accomplished. Also do this on the inside of the three that you stack together if you didn't do that already. That way we also make that look good. This is the rest of that. We got one more little back end right there that goes this wonderful brown color. And that will be just about that for the boats. Like I said, you got to get these ones right here that were already stacked because I didn't do that. And try to get on the insides if you can. I got a little messy. I know. It happens. So here are some missile parts. Got three of these things. They will go under the deck at one point in our next video. Have the top of the stack is painted black. Just little miscellaneous areas. Just pay attention to the instructions. Maybe look on some other things. We got this right here. I did happen to drop some uh, cleaning solutions onto my model and it cleaned some of the paint off. Uh, you could see some right there, but I just left it as it is. I figured it would look kind of nice. Uh, dry brush the anchors or however you want to do it. Your call, your model, your boat, and your anchors. So I dry brush them, don't get overzealous with it, because if you do, you might have a bit of a too much, I should say. I got a little crazy on the next one, and you'll see that right here. Kind of got it everywhere. It's okay. It's a model. Here's the bell I was talking about. We got two bells. This is one of them. Okay, just a little bit, front and back. Let me get the underside of the bell, too. Then we have our propellers right here. You know, a lovely brass. Look at that. Make sure you get that chip off there, by the way. All right, so now we have the pain, plane. Uh, the plane, parts of it go aluminum, bare aluminum, and the other, the wings, will go a yellow color. So we will get that as well. And the tail fins, those are what go yellow, the stabilizers. So we make sure to do that. And the wings are yellow, as I said. Taking that color, doing a little bit of these lights. I don't know why those lights have that dent in them, but that's the way they are. I'm sure it's kind of to replicate how the real ones looked. Got these little things. I have no idea what these triangles are. I'm sure somebody can tell me. Uh, front and backs of those make those look pretty as well. Got this little thing. A lot of silvery areas on this model. Another big area. Got some masts right here that will go. I'm sure they house antennas and wires and things like that. We'll put those on on the next video as well, so watch out for that. And then there's another little bell that goes with a wonderful gold color. Paint this boat. I used a wood color as well just for that, kind of a gray. I fear it was the best one. Hey, remember, uh, when we do these videos, we do a live chat, so watch a live chat. Also, always remember to subscribe, comment, and like to my channel, because I love when you 
watch me do my videos and I know they are very helpful for you all. Uh, there's that airplane going yellow with the wings. We'll put those together in the next video as well. You see what these look like. There are two of them. They will be attached to the plane and assembled. So thank you for watching. Subscribe, comment, and like. And as always, until next time, see ya.